Hey guys, Trevor here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to block gambling sites and apps. It's pretty quick and easy, so let's jump right in. Now, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is head into the settings on your phone here. And on here, you can see at the very bottom is screen time. Let's get into screen time. You're gonna use screen time to block both those apps as well as websites as well. So you can scroll down to the bottom. The first thing that we will do is tap on lock screen time settings. The key is you need to set a certain password that nobody will be able to guess because essentially if they know this password, then they can change these settings and then they can download any apps or go to any websites, including any gambling ones. So set a screen time password that nobody else will be able to guess. After we've done that, we're gonna do two different things. We're gonna tap on content and privacy restrictions at the very bottom, and we're gonna to toggle this on. Now you can see here, it says iTunes and App Store purchases at the top. Let's tap on that. And let's tap on installing apps and switch this to don't allow. Essentially, if there are gambling apps already on your iPhone, then you want to delete them. And by changing this settings, basically nobody can download and install any new apps unless they have that screen time password. This essentially blocks out any of the apps. To do it for these sites, let's go back and tap on content restrictions here. Now you will see midway down is web content. Let's tap on that. And let's switch it to limit adult websites. And on here under never allow, essentially you're gonna just add every single site that you can think of that's related to gambling. So it doesn't have a filter that can choose all of them. You're gonna to have to manually enter them all in here. Or you could always switch to allowed websites and this will only allow you to visit certain websites and none other websites. So you can see it comes up with a kind of default list here, but beyond that, you can add any specific websites that you want to be able to visit and every other one you will not be able to visit if they are basically not added to this specific list. So by going through this list, you can basically change it and you can limit the type of websites and the type of apps that anybody can use. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. And I'll catch you on the next one.